Ups. Welcome. So I kind of fell off the wagon a little bit and I haven't uploaded in several weeks, but that doesn't mean that I haven't been doing things. And a lot has happened in the workshop, not as much on the watch as I'd like. And I want to get into that now. So as you've seen in the video before, I made the post for the stud holder a touch undersized and the stud holder was able to be moved around freely and this should be a friction fit because its position directly relates to the timing and regulation of the watch. And you know, it was disappointing because I spent a lot of time ensuring that I was getting like the correct depths and even the hole for the shockproof setting. Like I took a lot of time with that and I thought about making a specialized tool to ensure that the recess is the correct diameter and I thought it'd be okay and I rushed through it and lo and behold, I, uh, I made the same mistake again. And um, so now I'm gonna have to go back and uh, remake the balance bridge, which is not much of a big deal and it's a minor setback. But what I thought about was making uh, the recess quickly and efficiently. And I made a specialized tool to make the click spring recess. And I call this tool like an offset D bit. I'm not sure what it is really called. So I thought it'd be a good idea to make the same tool for the post that holds the stud holder. And, and what it led to, because I was rushing and, and trying to get it all done, it just led to failure after failure. And I'd done like a week and a half of work and with um, just really nothing to show except mistakes. But on this video, I just want to document like what has happened. And um, I guess something that I've learned as well, which is I wanted the videos to be, you know, something positive always at the end, like not really positive, but something like I've, I've, I've achieved that's good. And you know, I think what I've come to realize if I truly want to do what I'm intending to do, which is document it, I just need to really crush, you know, the pride and ego that goes with these videos and, and trying to do really awesome stuff all the time. I mean, these are the hurdles that come and without showing like everything and the failures, it, it doesn't really represent the full story. So.
So the stud holder clearly doesn't fit on this um, piece of scrap brass that I made uh, with the tool. But after that video, I took the brass piece out and I put it in the vise on the bench and I was still trying to force the stud holder onto that post. I don't know why, I just... <laughs> It was out of frustration. I was just trying to get it on and it I, and I and I did get it on the post for about a second and then all I hear is ping and uh, It took off and zoomed out of space. I tried to listen to hear where it dropped, but um, Look, I cleaned out this workshop and I looked everywhere and I could not find it So, you know, these are small parts. It's it's something that I know and I didn't um, I didn't give it the respect that it deserved and you know it's, it's something that it's always a struggle to deal with um you know just being patient and, and taking your time even when you know you want to get things done and, and rushing but nevertheless I'm, I'm i'm super pumped you know the timing might have just blown out a little bit but that's okay it's just a, a small hurdle that i'm going to overcome and um you know definitely June 30, the movement will be completed and tested, and then I'll be moving on swiftly from there.